Uh, I'm a contributing editor at Rolling Stone, but I'm an expert at Alice in Wonderland. I'm community ambassador at the Young Turks, but I'm an expert on the Die Hard series. I'm an accountant, but I'm an expert at UNC basketball. Welcome to the experts. Our game is played in four rounds, and in round one, our experts are going to answer ten questions apiece. And we're going to start with Gavin, our Alice in Wonderland expert. Excellent. All right. Mm. Question one. What was author Lewis Carroll's full name at birth? Charles Lutwidge Dodson. Correct. <laughs> Question two. What little girl is popularly cited as the inspiration for the main character? Alice Liddell. What is the first two-word label Alice sees on an object at the bottom of the rabbit hole? Drink me. That is right. What character keeps falling asleep at the Mad Hatter's tea party? The Dormouse. Correct. What is the name of Alice's cat appearing in both Alice books? That would be Dinah. That would be right. What does Alice swim through to get out of the room at the bottom of the rabbit hole? Uh, that is her, a pool of her own salty tears. You are six for six, Gavin. We move to question seven. What artist illustrated the first editions of both Alice books? John Tenniel. John Tenniel. Call him the of captain. Punch magazine. What time does the Mad Hatter's tea party take place? Four o'clock? Six o'clock. We've run into our first wall. Question nine. Complete the lyric from Jefferson Airplane's White Rabbit. Remember what the Dormouse said. Feed your head. That is correct. According to the seventh and eighth lines of Jabberwocky, what should you beware and what should you shun? Uh, beware the Jabberwock, my son, and shun the frumious bandersnatch. It's beware the jub jub ah, bird and da, da, shun da, 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 the frumious da, da, da. bandersnatch. <laughs> you got eight right, though. You did nice really job, well, man. Gavin. Nice job. If it makes you feel better, I would have gotten almost every single one of those wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, we yeah. move now to you, Jack. It's UNC basketball. And again, right. what game show in the world moves from Alice in Wonderland to UNC basketball? Yep. Question one. What former UNC player is the third leading scorer in NBA history? Michael Jordan. That's correct. Who is the most recent Tar Heel to be ACC Rookie of the Year? Harrison Barnes. Correct. With 1,030, who holds the record for most assists in Carolina history? Ed Coda. Correct. What former Tar Heel standout is now a NASCAR TV announcer? Brad Doherty. That's right. What two National Players of the Year has Roy Williams coached at UNC? Uh, Tyler Hansbro. And Sean May. That's right. Five for five. We move to question six. Who has the record for most points scored in a single season with 895? 895. Um, Tyler Hansborough. That's Lenny Rosenbluth. Oh, Went on to that. become my, on. Oh. my rabbi. Question seven. Who is the only former Carolina player to currently serve as an NBA general manager? Mitch Kupchak. He's the Lakers GM. Who led the team in scoring in each of the first three games of the 2012-2013 season? James Michael McAdoo. That is right. And what year did Dean Smith coach his last game? 1997. Correct. In question 10, and you've only missed one, what is the sum total of the uniform numbers of star players Eric Montross and Brendan Haywood? Zero, zero. That is correct. <laughs> you got nine out of ten. They All both right. wore double zero. <laughs> Should have gotten Lenny Rosenbluth, too. Come on, I got to tell you, your work's cut out for you, kid. Oh. Question one in your category of Die Hard. What two police forces does John McClane work for over the course of the series? Um, NYPD, Washington Dollars. It's LAPD and NYPD. Uh. And what films in the series does McClane's wife appear? Die Hard and um, Die Hard 2. That's correct. During what holiday does Live Free or Die Hard take place? Christmas. It's Independence Day. What real life company is headquartered in the LA high rise that serves as Nakatomi Plaza in the first Die Hard? Fox. That's correct. The original script that Die Hard with a Vengeance was based on took its title from what children's game? No idea. It's Simon Says. Oh, I knew that! I knew that! <laughs> Question six. What is the English translation of the phrase Scheiß dem Fenster? Shoot the windows. Uh, let's shoot the glass. We're going to take it. What is the name of McLean's limo driver in the first Die Hard? Argyle. That is correct. <laughs> Which director in the Die Hard series was born in Finland? Uh, Rennie Hamlin. Renny Harlan. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Near the end of Die Hard with a Vengeance, what Canadian province does Simon flee to with $140 billion in gold? Ontario. 
It's Nova Scotia. And then here is your final question, trying to get 50% here. Give the names of the primary villain in each of the first four films. Um, Hans Gruber, Simon Gruber. Um, Sorry, Kamani. It's Colonel Stewart and Thomas Gabriel. Plenty of time in the game. We'll be back with round two. Okay.